So let's start by looking at the bifacial option first. So a bifacial photovoltaic module is built by taking bifacial solar cells or BSCs and then connecting them all in series or parallel and then you are building a BSC module. Now the whole trick of a bifacial photovoltaic module is that you can illuminate it from both the front and from the rear, right? It's not magic there. And the, the opposite of a bifacial module is a monofacial solar cell. So the regular photovoltaic module that you often come across, that is a monofacial, and the, the variation is a bifacial PV module. So let me take you to the whiteboard again and show you exactly what the difference is between a regular monofacial photovoltaic module and a bifacial, the newer, more advanced bifacial modules. So we start again with a semiconductor. We have a positive side, a negative side, a PN junction, and we place the bus bars on the top and the bottom. We wire it up in a circuit and we have created electricity uh, through a photovoltaic cell. But now this is only a cell. This is only a photovoltaic cell. And we want to place this inside of a module, right? And we want to protect it from the elements. So normally what we do is we place glass on one side, on the, on the front side of the photovoltaic cell, and we place, place some kind of opaque material on the rear side, which we call the backing sheet, right? All right, let him shut up for a second. I just want to explain to you that the content of this video is copied from the complete course of energy systems. If this information is enough for you, great. If you want to learn more and if you want to get access to the complete course, then check the information in the description below. All right, you go out again. Now, what we can do is instead of this opaque backing sheet, we can just place another layer of glass on the back side. And now we have created a bifacial solar cell. And then if you place this bifacial solar cell under the sun, the front side is operating as any normal regular photovoltaic cell, right? So the sun power is entering the front of the cell, uh, arriving at the PN junction, and you're creating electricity there. And then the, but what you can also do with the bifacial solar cell is that you can apply any kind of solar power, any kind of irradiation from the back side. It can enter the solar cell exactly in the same way and the result of this is that you're just producing more power, right? This is the basic operation principle of a bifacial solar cell. It's not that complicated, right? And you're probably asking me, okay, so how much more power will I expect to get from a bifacial solar cell? Well, this depends entirely on you. It depends on how you install your system and how much how much solar power you're able to project on the rear side of the bifacial solar cell. Because if you'll take a bifacial solar cell and mount it flush to any kind of surface, and there's no extra power that can bounce back to any kind of material to the rear side of the bifacial solar cell, you're not getting any more power from uh, out of it. It will just operate as if it is a monofacial photovoltaic cell. So I think that's enough on the theory for bifacial solar cells and modules. Now let's go online and let's look at a practical example of a bifacial solar module. And let's try to find a specification sheet, dive into the specification sheet and see what kind of values you could expect for bifacial solar modules. So I'm going to the website of prisonsolar.com. I am not affiliated with Prison Solar. I'm going to the section that says our product. And then we just select one of their bifacial ones. So let's just select the first one, the BN72 in the range of 360 to 370 watts. So here we are in the specification sheet and it says clearly bifacial modules. It's a module with 72 photovoltaic cells combined in series, it seems like. And they claim that they can generate up to 35% more energy per watt which is an interesting term. I think they are referring to um, generating up to 35% more energy per watt of solar irradiation hitting the panel. I think that's the, the watts they're referring to now. Because a little bit lower here, they say uh, that they can get module efficiencies up to 22.5%, right? So that's a different value. So the first value, I think, refers to that they generate up to 35% more energy per watt of solar irradiation that's hitting the panel. So they're squeezing more electrical energy uh, out of the, the solar power. That makes a lot of sense. And then they can get up to 22.5% of the module efficiency, right? Not the cell efficiency, but the module efficiency. So to be honest, I, I quite like this specification sheet because for me, being an engineer, being a technical person, I feel very comfortable if I dive into the specification sheet and a manufacturer 
provides you with all the details, right? Because to me, that's an indication that they are confident in their product, that they are not that they're not trying to hide certain performance characteristics, that they're not trying to make it look a little bit different than what it actually is, but that they're confident in their product and that they're willing to share all the data of the of the performance of their product. So a specification sheet like this gives me a comfortable feeling. It is a, I get a positive impression from their product. So let's scroll down a little bit and let's go, let's look in the actual data, right? So here we can see that they have the, uh, that they're testing it under the SDC, under the standing test conditions, as we've seen before. We scroll down, indeed, they're testing it under SDC, being the cell temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and irradiation of 1000 watts per square meter. So I think we're comfortable with those numbers now. And they see that they have in this column, it is the, the, the regular testing on the standard test conditions. And then the second column is on the uh, bifacial. Uh, standard test conditions so to me that's very clear and you can already see that you know so these are all exactly the same panels they're made in the same way and then they can they, they test it under stc and you can see that you're getting different outputs right so they've tested all the panels and say well some fall in the the section that produces 360 watts some in 365 some 370 so they already they take the panels that are all made in the same way they test them and then they say, okay, these perform a little bit better than other ones. And then they price them normally accordingly as well. And then you can see that they also test them under bifacial uh, test conditions, right? And here you can see clearly that it's getting a higher power output as expected. So then I assume that the, the one that normally produces 360 then produces 407. The one that produces 365 then produces 412, etc. And then you can also see that if you're in the column on the standard test conditions, you can see that the module efficiencies uh, are somewhere in the 18% range, right? 18.3, 18.5, 18.8. And then, as expected, you can see that the module efficiencies under bifacial standard conditions are higher, 20.7, 20.9, and 21.2. So to me, that's all clear. That's all above board. We can also do a quick comparison what under these test conditions, so the STC and the BSTC, what the actual increase in the overall module efficiency is. So when we take 21.2 and divide it by 18.8, multiply it by 100, then you get 12.7, actually 12.8%, which tells me that under these test conditions, so the STC versus the BSTC, we're getting 12.8% higher module efficiency due to the bifacial effect. So that's all clear to me. When you, it's interesting, by the way, when you look here on the right hand side, we can recognize the IV curve, what we talked about before, right? It doesn't say here on the vertical axis that it is the, the current, but I'm pretty sure that it is when you compare it to the values on the left here, right? So the short circuit current, the ISC, somewhere in the, the 10 amp range. And you can see here that indeed the, the graph, the second graph from the top is 1000 watts per square meters according to standard test conditions and that is somewhere around the 10 amps so i assume that this is the the iv curve and you know what i really like about the specification is that they actually go beyond the standard test conditions and the standard test approach because they they even said well you know what let's also test this panel when we have even a higher incident and radiation, even higher than the 1000 watts per square meters. And then you can see that it's even getting a, a higher output. So uh, to me, this is a very clear specification sheet and this is very clear what you can see. Okay, what can I expect? What kind of a performance gain can I expect from a bifacial panel? So I think that's enough about the bifacial photovoltaic modules. So at least you get an idea what you can expect, what the actual the difference, the background is behind the physical differences between the monofacial and the bifacials, and what kind of performance gain you can expect if you choose to go for a bifacial solar module. So let's go to the next section and look into the, the, the second variation, so the half-cut uh, cell photovoltaic modules.